Hey, how's it guys? In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use Google Vision AI API in Python. All right, so Google Vision AI is one of the Google Cloud products to simplify image analytics and classification based on its own pre-trained models. And some of the things that we can do with Google Vision AI, such as detect people face, detect object, or handwriting extraction from image. In this tutorial series, I'm going to break down the content into two parts. So part one is going to be the setup. We're going to learn how to uh, create a Google Cloud project, how to set up the authentication enable Vision AI API, create a Python virtual environment, and activate the environment, install the uh, Google Vision AI API Python package. And part two is going to be covering different examples, such as label detection, landmark detection, object detection, and a couple other things. Now, before I dive into the tutorial, I want to cover the pricing first. And let me make the font a bit bigger. All right, so here we go into uh, pricing. So when it comes to uh, Google Cloud Vision AI products, uh, there are actually several products. Vertex AI Vision and Vision API is going to be the one I'm going to cover. Vision Product Search API, Auto Machine Learning Vision, in Auto Machine Learning Vision Edge. So these four products, Vertex and Auto Machine Learning, those are going to be the products more toward uh, enterprises or companies. And Vision API is going to be uh, more toward uh, everybody, such as individual users, small companies, uh, medium companies, or even large corporations. All right, so let's look at the uh, pricing for Vision API. All right, so here's the uh, pricing table. Now, for every single Vision AI API feature, it's going to be free for the 1,000 units every month. And after that, it's going to be $1.50 to uh, $3.50 per 1,000 units until you hit the 5 million units of usage. After that, it's going to be a uh, discounted price. And I'll put a link in the description below so you can uh, check it out. All right, so that's going to be everything I want to cover in terms of uh, the overview of Google Vision AI. Now, in part one of the video, I want to cover item two all the way to item six. All right, so we're going to create a Google Cloud project first. Now, first, I want to open your browser and navigate to console.cloud.google.com. All right, so that's going to take you to the uh, Google Cloud homepage. And if you don't have an account, uh, sign up for an account and it's free. All right, so here we have a decent drop down, and this is going to be your project drop down. Now, here I want to create a new project. Now, for my project, I'm going to name uh, the project Vision AI API Demo. And let me uh, make the font size a little bit bigger. All right, so once you uh, assign a project name, Click on create to create the project. All right, so it's going to take about 10 seconds to uh, create the project in the back end. And once the project is created, click on select project. And I want to make sure that uh, your project is activated. Now, once we create our Google Cloud project, we need to set up the authentication. All right, so here we want to click on this uh, Hamburg menu. Then we want to go to APIs and services, then click on credentials. On the top, click on create credentials. Now I want to choose service account. Now a service account is essentially an account where pre assigned permissions to operate different things in Google Cloud on your behalf. You can think this as kind of like a, a workaround to bypass the OAP 2.0 uh, protocol. Now here we need to give our service account a name. And I'll name my account as six stands for service account underscore followed by the project name. And it's going to be my uh, naming convention to name my service account. And you can also provide a description to the service account to uh, specify the purpose of this account. And because you can create multiple service account that link to the same project. And once you assign a name to the service account, we can click on create and continue. All right, so here we want to give this account a role. 
And the rule basically determines uh, what permissions this service account is going to have. Now for demonstration purpose, I'm going to choose basic and owner. And it's going to give this account full permission to do everything on my behalf. All right, click on continue. Now we can click on done to finish the service account setup. Now here's the service account that was created. Now the next step is we need to download the service account client file. All right, so currently I don't have a folder to uh, save the client file yet. All right, so I want to jump, uh, jump to step five, which is to create a Python virtual environment and activate the environment first. All right, so uh, go into one of your uh, local directory and pick a location where you want to create the uh, Python project folder. And I'll create my Python virtual environment under my uh, Python VMV folder. Now launch your terminal. And make sure that the terminal location is pointing to the uh, location we want to create the Python virtual environment. All right, zoom in, uh, zoom in a little more. Now to create a Python virtual environment, the command is going to be Python dash M VMV. So this stands for uh, the module that you want to use followed by the virtual environment name. Now for the environment, I'll name this as Vision AI Demo. Actually, let's name this as Google Vision AI Demo. Enter. All right, so it may take about uh, five to 10 seconds to create the environment. All right, so once the, uh, once the environment is created, and it should be on the Google Vision right here. So Google Vision AI Demo folder. Now, if we go into the directory, you should see that inside this folder, there are already some folders that are created. And those are going to be the folders that you need to set up your environment. Now, to activate the environment, we want to run the activate file in the scripts folder. So here I want to navigate to my environment folder. Then we'll activate the environment by execute the activate file in the scripts folder. Oops, I have a typo. All oh, right, I know why. Because I'm using Windows command line, so I need to use a uh, backward slash. Usually I'll use bash to uh, do the uh, command line. Uh, in this case, uh, for demonstration purpose, I know more people will be using Windows Terminal. All right, so we can go back to download the service account client file. All right, so going back to uh, Google Cloud Console, I want to click on the service account. All right, so here on the top, I want to click on keys. Then click on add key. Now I need to create a new set of keys. So click on create new key. Now for the key type, uh, choose JSON and create. All right, so it's going to prompt you to save the uh, client file. And I want to save the file in my Python uh, virtual environment. And I'm going to call this uh, my project folder. All right, so I'll save the file in my project folder. And I'll name the file to something that I can recognize. Client file, vision AI demo. All right, so we have officially uh, finished item one, two, three, and six, actually five. Now we need to do item number four. All right, so to enable Google Vision AI API, we'll go back to navigation menu. APIs and services, then click on library. Now here we want to search for cloud vision API. It should be the first item, cloud vision API. Now make sure that you enable the cloud vision API service. Now going back to the terminal, 
we can now uh, install the Fusion AI API Python package. All right, so to install the library, we use the command pip install dash dash upgrade Google dash cloud dash vision and enter. Now, once the uh, Fusion AI API Python package and its own dependencies uh, are installed, we can now move to part two, which is to go to different examples.